Hey you guys, Sensei Scott here with OneHeartWay.org. Thank you so much for joining me today again to work on your martial arts. Uh, today we're going to be doing some kicking combinations along with our upper body combinations. Um, so this is from the Ishimaru system. So it's upper and lower body together at the same time. So if you need to go back and look at some of the lower body techniques before you do this video, or if you need to do some of the upper body, low block, side block, punches, things like that, feel free to go forward. If not, feel free to jump right in. There is no warm up or cool down in this video, so feel free to go and look at some other great warm up videos or in the beginning of some of my other stuff that have full warm ups, but you wanna make sure that your body's ready to go for this so you, to prevent any injury. So all right, we're gonna get started. We're gonna get forward with our left foot forward. Hands are up, thumbs on top as always. We're gonna go right into our front kick, bring it back, left hand low block, right hand punch. That's our first combination right there. We're gonna do both sides, okay? So right foot, back foot, front kick, penetrating with the ball of the foot, left hand low block, palm facing in, thumb on top, right hand reverse punch, center of the chest, and then reset. We're always blocking over the lead leg, and we're not gonna move anywhere in this video. We're just gonna stay put, okay? Ready, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, switch feet. Switching feet. Okay, right foot forward, kick with the left now, left foot front kick. Right hand low block, left hand reverse punch. Let's give it a try, ready? Toes forward, both knees bent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Forward, stay on stance. 45 degree angle blade kick. Okay, 45 degree angle blade kick. So we're at our knee level, hitting with the blade edge, same height as the knee, bring it back and down. And we're gonna go to our, let's do 45 degree angle blade kick. We'll go to side block punch. We'll do side block punch with this one. So making sure the palm's in, side block, reverse punch. Ready? One. Side block, reverse punch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good, switch feet, switch those feet. Okay, left foot, 45 degree angle blade kick, back and down, side block, reverse punch. Now remember, when we're doing our blocks, there's like be beginner, intermediate, advanced, right? Beginner, chamber, straight to the side. Okay, then maybe if you're a little bit more advanced, you're using the hips, big circle and pulling in like you're hooking somebody in. And then maybe if you're a little more advanced, you're crossing, to get that snap. So if you see me crossing, it's just because that's how I'm used to doing it. But if you need to go to the basic like that, go for it. Okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Feet left foot forward. Let's go crossover heel kick, penetrating with the heel back up and down. 
Open side block, Nukite spear hand. Open side block, okay, right where a regular side block would be when it's open, hitting with the knife edge, Nukite spear hand. Okay, ready? One. Two. Make sure you're not rising up, stay grounded. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. So again, make sure you're not rising up. Our power comes from the ground, and we want to make sure that we're setting before we do those blocks. Each part of this, you get 100% attention, so we have 100% complete combination. We don't want to have 70% here, 80% there, 47% over here. We want 100% across the board, so making sure you're breathing, putting every effort into each part of it for one complete combination. All right, other side, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, left foot forward. Let's go to our side kick. Okay, so we did front 45 crossover. Now let's go to our side kick, bring it back, open high block, right where regular would be, except this time we're going pinky up, thumb down. So we're hitting with the knife edge, reverse uppercut, your own chin or nose level. Okay, side kick, open high block, reverse uppercut. Ready? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, switch feet. Do the other side. Make sure we're kicking with the blade edge. Make sure you look where you're kicked. Sometimes you'll see me looking at the camera instead of looking where I kick. That's just to make sure I'm still in the frame. But you should always be looking where you kick. Ready? Right. One, side kick, open high block, reverse uppercut. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very nice, you guys. Good. All right, let's go to our side straight kick. So our side straight kick, it's a front kick to the side. And the way we transition, if you remember, is through that cat stance. So my back leg draws to my front and the cat stands. Now I'm looking to the side. Front kick, twist back and down. So I'm back to the front. Closed high block, reverse punch. So side straight kick, closed high, reverse punch. So now we're going with that pinky down thumb up again. So we're exposing the muscle, no bones about it. Ready? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Nice, switch feet. Switch feet, side straight kick. Step back and down, close high, reverse punch. Remember, our blocks are striped in Ishinru Karate. So really snap it up there, punch it up there like you're destructing an arm. Ready? One, two, three, four. See how I'm breathing? That's what you want. You want to make sure we're breathing. And then we're also tightening our core right at the same time that we're hitting all these techniques for full completion. What do we have? Five? I think we're at five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Nice job, very good, you guys. All right, we got one more to do. This one's a little wonky. So we're gonna start in our Higadash stance. We're gonna step left. So I do that by half circle stepping, but I'm not really stepping forward, okay? I'm more or less just stepping to the side so I can turn my feet on a 45 degree angle blade kick. I'm gonna chamber on the left side. I'm gonna do a low roundhouse kick, and we're gonna penetrate with the ball here. You can do either one where you think about it as you're hitting the top part of the foot, or if you're penetrating with the ball of the foot. But it's essentially a low roundhouse kick. So from here, my left foot half circle step, chamber on the left, right low roundhouse, stay in the same stance, right hand high block, right hand nose bot, reverse punch. And see how I twist back so I can penetrate through with that back hand. Okay, so one more time, I can start and take it out. Half circle step, chamber on the left, Kick with the right, whichever foot kicks, that's the hand that's gonna do the high block, nose bop, and that twist reverse punch. And we back and we reset. Let's give it a try, ready? One. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, let's switch feet, let's go to the other side. Okay, so now I'm gonna start and take it out. Right foot in and out. Turn the toes on a 45 chamber. Think of this as like you're almost trapping somebody, trapping an arm. Left foot low roundhouse, because the left foot did the kick. Left hand high block, left hand nose block. Twist the feet back so everything's in line for your reverse punch. Let's give it a go. One. And back and reset. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and here you go. Nine, and ten. Good, nice, you guys. All right, those are your kicking combinations for today. We're gonna to be having more to come on those. Keep an eye out for the next video. Be a little more combination work, maybe get into some self-defense. So I really hope to see you at the next one.